Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-May 2024. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Scorpio. The hell? Anyways, the overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Swords. So really potentially wanting to do something about something. This energy has a drive of action in the sense of I really want to do something here. Okay, I don't know what, but okay. Uh, starting off the reading, you get the Three of Cups crossed by the Strength card. Potentially wanting to bring something together. I'm seeing some concerning energies at play. That's why I'm talking like this. It's not like, you know, I'm, I'm seeing what you want to do here. But I'm like, not under these energies, please. But let's see. In your focus, the Five of Pentacles. Um, something may have broken off or has been split apart or something. And from what I'm seeing with the opening of the reading, you may want to bring it back together. Or not accept that it's been torn apart here. In the recent past, the Ten of Wands, feeling the heaviness of something here. That's where my concern starts. In your strength, you got the Tower. That's not a great energy to bring something to the table with. So if you want to do something, by all means. If it feels right to you, do it. But under this Tower energy, it kind of feels like you want to do it in such a way where you break down a door to do it, in order to do it. Those are not great energies to do something, to make any kinds of decisions, any kinds of choices, any kinds of actions around anything, you know, when you feel this tower moment with you. In the immediate future, the devil. Again, if it feels right to you, and when I say that, I don't mean if you're angry as hell, go break down a door. That doesn't feel right to you, I promise you. You feel that what fe that's what feels right to you, but it's not. You're coming from a place of anger. So th that's not what I mean with if it feels right to you. I mean, first, wait for you to get out of these energies of upset, whatever it is you're going through, so that you're clear in your head and then make decisions and walk calmly through a door, you know, because um, you're, you're bringing up a storm here. <clears throat> And it's one of those that while you do it, you may feel like, oh my God, this feels so good. But you know, while you do it still, and even after that, uh-oh, what did I do? It's one of those. So try to calm yourself here. For the supportive energies, the Ace of Wands, very passionate energy. As I said, breaking down a door could be very passionate. Yes. Um... <clears throat> The energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Judgment card. There have been decisions made that you don't agree with, and from that point on, you have to make your own choices of how to deal with those decisions, you know? Um, and as I said, before you make any kinds of decisions, choices, whatever you want to call them, try to come from a balanced place. This right now doesn't feel like a balanced place that you're experiencing. So in your hopes and fears, the Hierophant, I get it. This is very important to you. Of course, you would react in an angry way, you know, especially if the decision that has been made it feels like it's not one that's serving you or that you don't feel good about or one that hurts you. I get where you're coming from, but still. In the potential outcome, the Knight of Cups. That place right there with the Knight of Cups... If you get to that place, by all means, if anything feels right to you from that energy, I am with you holding your hand through that. Through any of this? Nope. I'm not holding your hand through this. You're on your own here, you know? Um, so I don't know. But I feel a built up of anger. And then this burst of, okay, let's do something about something. It's like, no, 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 do not. But anyways, let's see. Let me do the Ace of Swords. 
<clears throat> the Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Star. You're very upset about the choices that have been made because these choices tell you, okay, move on. This is what's happening. This is what you're dealing with. It's time to move on from whatever this was. Goodbye. And you're like, nope, I don't like that decision. It, it almost feels like a decision has been made for you. That's why you're so angry and upset. Because you're like, well, you know. Was I asked? <laughs> kind of a deal. Um, let's do the Three of Cups. The King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Especially to something that you felt was heading in a good direction. Or was, you know, being ran by right energies. That's what it felt to you. Okay, let's do the Strength card. The Empress, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're feeling quite strongly about someone here. And I don't know what the hell happened here. Uh, I can only assume it's a breakup or a separation. I don't think it's that necessarily. I feel like it's more of an amplified kind of an energy surrounding that aspect. But I don't think that actually happened in that way. Unless it did. And then, of course, you would be upset based on how you feel about the situation. Because you're coming in as almost like a train hitting you. Like, wait a minute. I felt this. I thought this was happening and then this is actually happening no i will not accept that as my reality when i just came from a reality that looked very very different so of course you would be upset um let's do the five of pentacles in your focus the judgment card the knight of wands the ace of wands yeah that's the fiery energy that's coming in as a reaction to what just happened what just what has been placed in front of you as this is what's going on. And again, you're coming from a place of rainbows and butterflies. And this looks like no more rainbows, no more butterflies is what your reality is right now. And you're like, no, nope. You're very, very passionate about it in not the healthiest way. Kind of angry about it. So that's the place where you want to come from with this approach this from and as i said doesn't feel like a healthy one let me do the tower in your strength the ten of cups the six of wands the ten of pentacles i mean that's the energy of i've got nothing to lose anyway if this is my reality then i've already lost it all so i've got nothing to lose i, I might as well throw it all in that's not the greatest approach again when you get to that point of feeling like you got nothing to lose, how do you think you'll approach this? Because you're not coming from that place in a healthy way. We usually get there when we feel like we've really got nothing to lose. So we might as well just blow it all apart. You know? Um, as to the devil in the immediate future. The High Priestess, the Fool, the Emperor. You know better. You know better than this. You're showing me I know better. It, it just takes a split second for me to stop in my tracks and acknowledge that I know better. I can do better than this for myself in this situation. Um... There's a sense of anger and resentment building up. I'm not sure how aware you are of it. I feel like you're already, when you're already in this place, you, you're there. You're there. It already built up. It's already there. You're just ready to to, to go and break down doors, basically. Um, but there is a split second of acknowledgement there that it, it almost feels like I'm talking to your higher self on the side there that's telling me I know better than this. But then there's that approach of the unhealthy way. So it's a matter of choice at the end of the day. Because this is one of those energies where you just go ahead and do something and then at the end of the day, you feel crappy about it. You feel like, oh my God, why couldn't I have just stopped, you know, for a split second instead of creating all of this? This is coming through as one of those. Um, 
And if you have the awareness, even if it's for a split second that you know better, all you need to do is during this built up of fire inside of you, you just need to step back and breathe, you know, breathe, count to five in that breathing and just stop and stop that that breathing will definitely stop you, you know, uh, breathe in and out for five counts. And then you'll be able to to kind of attach yourself to that part of you that says you, you you're better than this, you know, because that might actually stop you from breaking down doors, basically, because um, that's what this energy is looking like it wants to do. But let's do the Ace of Wands in the supportive energies, the Four of Pentacles, the Moon, the King of Cups. You're very stubborn about it too, that's the thing. You've got two energies attached to you, the one that knows better, that's coming from a very open-hearted space, the place of, oh, but I love this person, I care about this person, and the one that's hurt by whatever this person did, you know? So the one that's hurt by whatever this person did doesn't give a damn about the one that loves this person because this person hurt them you know so you got two sides to you it's a matter of which one do you want to connect with of those sides which one are you going to go with you already know that this unhealthy side of things the one that's looking for mm, i'm going to show you you've done that before we've all done that before you know was it ever good did it ever serve us with in the moment, it may feel like, oh my God, this feels so good. I'm letting it all out, all the anger, all the... But the consequences of that, how do those feel? Not great, you know? So why not treat this from, the, from a different perspective? From that sense of, let me just stop in my tracks for a split second. Let me breathe deeply. Let's see where that takes me, you know? Because this could very much be avoided. Uh, this reaction to things. For the judgment card and the hidden energies, you get the world card, the hermit, the nine of pentacles. <laughs> keep on. Yeah, you keep on telling me I know better. Because you have worked on yourself enough to get to that place of knowing that the the reaction to this is just that, a reaction from your own pain, your own anger. It has nothing to do with what they said. With, eh, they shut down the door. They did this. They did that. Eh, we've been through that before. Done that you know, many times to learn that, no, it's not about that, ultimately. It's about our response to someone's actions that ultimately harms us. So you're showing me there's a lot of healing in your background to acknowledge that, yes, you do know better, you know? You do know better than to go ahead and do this to ultimately hurt yourself, because that's what's going to happen. So... Um, Let's do the Hierophant in your hopes and fears, the Page of Swords, the Temperance card, the Knight of Swords. There you go. Different approach. How about we give this some time? We let things settle. We let energy settle. Everything was said. Everything was done. How about we give it some time and then take it from there slowly but surely? You're already giving me that solution. You already have a response to it from a different perspective. So you know. You know, but it's it's very hard when we're so all of us because we all get to this point at some point in, in time when we're so building up in that, you know, response to things. Ooh, it's very hard to see that mm, there's an alternative, a healthier one to this. It's very hard to see. But I'm glad you're showing me this other side of you that knows that you have different options here uh, in dealing with this. Because that means, okay, so you know, there's one big part of you that can do things in a very different way, healthier way. For the Knight of Cups in the potential outcome, you get the Three of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Eight of Cups. Yeah. And once the dust has settled, you can deal with what's left. You know, if there's anything left, any kind of pain that's been created, you can work on it, you know. If you have to work on it on your own, then so be it. So you're giving me pretty healthy outcomes to this as alternatives towards the end of the reading here, which tells me there's a big chance that you might stop yourself in this built up 
anger, basically, because that's what this is, you know, and deal with it from a more, much more healthier way, where you look at what happened, you feel it, it's painful, it sucks, it's going to be painful anyway, you're just going to make it a little messy too, you know, if you decide to respond from anger. Um, so you might as well take it from there. If there's anybody you can work with at the other end of this, then so be it. If not, you've done this before, you know, this healing aspect to things where you don't have to respond in a angry way, you know, but that's, that's going to be your choice, especially at this point when part of you, a big part of you is definitely very much aware that there is another choice, you know, in responding to this. Um, let's see what the universe has for you as a final advice. King of Wands, the lovers, the emperor. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know if you see, if I remember this from your annual reading for 2024, uh, where you kept on showing me, but this is important to me. Um, yeah, you're kind of coming in in the same way where you're saying, this is important. I know it's important. Otherwise, you wouldn't be so angry, upset about it, right? You would be like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know, we'll deal with it whenever, however. It doesn't really affect me, though. I know it's important to you. You know, you're taking me in the depth of the importance of this to you. I get it. I know. I know. Um, as I said, otherwise you wouldn't. But that's the thing. When the stake is so high, that's an even bigger lesson for you to get out of this, you know, in terms of you choosing how to deal with this. That's the thing. It's even more powerful. The deeper it is for you, the meaning, the more meaning it has for you, the, the bigger the healing for this, you know? So, um, let's do the Lantern Oracle for you. Ooh. Ooh, really? Broken dreams. Number 33. Only you can accept or reject your dreams. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Man, that wanted to come out. We break our dreams when we cease to believe in them and ourselves. Our attitude towards disappointment, perceived failures, and rejection has the power to derail our confidence. When a prolonged state of defeat and doubt ensues, we not only give up on our dreams and ourselves, but also on what makes us feel alive. It can be hard, but we need to trust that the way we realize our dreams is by persisting and working with disappointments, as well as any perceived failures or rejections. Perceived setbacks are often opportunities to learn to think differently to develop further and to explore new ways of realizing our vision. When we interpret and therefore turn challenges into actual setbacks, it can feel like the world has rejected us. In response to this feeling, we give up too soon. The world does not reject us. It cannot. Of course, it may feel like it does, but what is more likely to have transpired is that certain individuals, organizations, and opportunities have said no to us for one thing at one point in time. The world is full of many more individuals, organizations, and opportunities if we continue to say yes to ourselves. In the instance that constructive feedback is given, it can be helpful to consider seriously what is said. We may become aware of something useful. At times, we may also benefit and develop from seeking out another informed point of view or ongoing mentorship. However, what remains crucial to the realization of our dreams is focused persistence, appropriate practice and training, and the right timing. People, circumstances, and many other variables outside of our awareness and control need to line up. Furthermore, we need to be ready for our dreams to come true so that success does not have a distorting effect on us. To abandon your dream is to abandon yourself. There is no need for this. The Guardian encourages you to explore ways of doing what you love differently. Being flexible with the way that you go about realizing your vision will save you from much unnecessary heartache, regret, lost time, and despair. Guardian's message. 
Do what makes you feel alive in your life. Never lose sight of what lights you up and makes your spirit self sing, no matter what. Yeah. But that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.